What do you see right here? Look at that. That's supposed to be what they call Picaporus, Picnoporus. Dang it, I can't ever remember the name. Picnoporus. <laughs> Picaporus? And there's one species that actually grows here. See, there's another one over there. And it's a hybrid, and some of this stuff turns into something called a reshi. <clears throat> but I can't tell. See? If that's an infection, that's a part of the actual plant's process because that is a turkey tail. Supposedly. But it's turning red or orange. And I was like, I hope they didn't spray anything. But it grows just like a turkey tail. And so I guess that might have a, some kind of a symbiotic relationship with another fungus, which causes it to turn this color. And that was the only one I've seen in the last five years scouting around. I've never seen these before. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And it is coming off on my finger. It was a turkey tail of some sort. That's what it looked like. Anyway, it's a polypore. It's on the bottom. See, it was growing just like the turkey tails were because they're right next door. But these seem to have, these seem to be turning red. More than likely probably because it's a fungus that also uh, creates another edible mushroom. They call, I believe, a lobster tail. See, so look what it did to my fingers. That's, smells just like a turkey tail. But that orange, that's, I guarantee that's a fungus of some sort. But see the colors on the back? And I have no clue what you can do with those. I mean, they haven't really did any investigation as far as, is that edible? Is it good for anything? It's the same plant, excuse me, fungus. <laughs> but as you can see, they did come through here and they cleaned this out. So all this debris and all this deadfall and all the, see all the resources, wood resources we have here, is gonna be hiding all kinds of goodies especially when spring gets here and right about now because this is all covered up so we come back through here in a little while this will more than likely be chucked full of a uh, fungus but i thought that was strange it's like look at the that red rusty colored fungus that's on there see here's the other one and i know these are it looks like one See, this is doing the same thing. But these are growing in a circle. They're not growing quite. It looks like a Berkeley's polypore, which grows in a, uh, a cylinder. But I've never seen them do that before. That's my first one. I knew what it was. I just never seen one in the living. So we'll go and see if we can find a something to our liking because there's all this deadfall and you know leftovers from their and they do this for the clean for the power line so you all you guys who love electricity and you start getting mad about them destroying the place this is your fault okay well look what we found we got some more picnoporus it is a poor a polyporus some sort polypore and uh, I did see some of these in the handbook for Missouri's Department of Conservation of Missouri so for all you don't know what this is basically it is a type of polypore it, it kind of mimics the turkey tail and uh, it turns red and 
you know, give us the profiles here. And that color is caused by another fungus of some sort, I'm sure, because when I put my finger on it, it comes right off. And uh, that's the color it is before it turns red. And I have no clue if these are useful or not because I've never seen these before. I did see them in the uh, handbook though. I was like, well, I'll probably never run into those. But, uh, it's in a cove sack. Kind of like this. We're down in a little bit of a cove underneath all this little brush. And, uh, some more places where they cut these trees down. As you can see, there's plenty of funguses. I mean, they're just. Nobody ever comes over here at all until, you know, just to cut this stuff. Because it's in a triangle between major traffic, so no one ever comes out here. Except for me. I'm the, uh, in the uh, power company, but they only come over here to cut the trees. Other than that, I haven't seen anybody over here in a couple of years. In this little triangle, so. I thought we'd do is kind of get a little bit better look at what this is. There we go. Maybe that's some uh, that high profile photography. Come back over here and check on this. Our uh, Pycnopora cinnabarinus. Get some better uh, shots of this. I did look, uh, bust out uh, several manuals, you know, reference guides for a uh, fungus today. One group said you can eat it. It doesn't. It doesn't have a taste or it doesn't have an odor. Well, I disagree. It has an odor. Um, but uh, they said it was edible not edible but you can eat it but they have requirements for edibility. You know, it's not like one of those choice five-star mushrooms that you're going to see, you know, at Shea Cafe on the, uh, you know, Olive Ole or something. <laughs> but, however, we do see how these are growing. Okay. It has a little stipe on the bottom of it. Let's see if I can get some of this grass off here. Okay, so we got a couple of these. That's what they look like before. Then they turn into this. I think I see another one still attached to a tree over here. But, got to get a better uh, video footage of this because I didn't see too many good pictures of this. So, Let's see if I can find one still stuck to the tree here. This is what it looks like before it starts to turn all those goofy colors. And uh, maybe this will help us identify it a little bit better. But notice it's growing like in a rosetta, a cylinder. And then it busts out with that or orange color, red color. And they uh, did say that was caused by a fungus. So basically it's a fungus with a fungus on it. So, just kind of show you what it is, what it looks like. But uh, several of the uh, reference guides did say it was 
a, a cinnabar polypore, and they just call it a Pycnopora cinnabarinus if it's around here in Missouri. So that's the name, the nomenclature. So if you see any of these, but one book said they did eat them. They didn't have no flavor and didn't have no smell. Well, it, it, it does have a smell, but I don't know what it tastes like because I haven't ate them yet. But they did eat them. They just said, you know, it wasn't right up there with all those high dollar mushrooms. <laughs>